little sticks. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still kind of doing. What did you make using the hummingbird? Right now, we're working on the head of the lion, and we're and um, this is the body, and this is who is robot who will be sitting on the lion. On top of the lion. So there's a separate servo open. Up, oh, I set it off. So you can see. The it always works like that. The tail also lights up, and we have some multicolored or tricolored LEDs that are lighting up the eyes different colors when you make it mad. Oh, I need to come So we're working on a shark, and we have the head right here. We're going to put a servo in here and make the uh, mouth move up and down, and these LEDs or eyes are going to light up different colors. And we're going to have a vibration motor in here, and it's going to shake this. Did you face any challenges building the bot? It it liked to fall over a lot. This thing fell off about 200 times, and then during the fourth grade apparent showcase, this servo fell every time we ran the program. It, um, whenever the trunk, turned, whenever the tail turned, it fell off. It was because really it was pushing on the box. So that's why it fell off. It's really annoying. Yeah. Don't put any. Don't put anything heavy on the servos. And for some reason, at the start of class. After like it had fallen over, every time that we would like put on the cop mode, or every time it would flap its wings, this wing would like yep start to quiver. Wait, I know. But like, it used to quiver a lot more violently. Just hold the fly Do you have any advice for other kids that want to build a robot? You cannot do it without working together. It simply won't work. And also, you know, you've got to be ambitious when you're thinking about your ideas, but if you create something that's too large, you won't be able to finish it. The thing of this was just right. Try not to freak out. That's better. But a lot of times, like, your first few ideas, even if you, like, start working on them, sometimes they, like, will turn out, they won't work. Or you might have to start on something new or start fresh. Fix it. You can't just leave it there. It's not going to fix itself. Don't try to make it too complicated because it's going to take an extremely long time. And you should think about like the structural design of your thing so it doesn't like fall apart when you're trying to build it. Yeah, and I think I think what we didn't do but you should start simple and then you can add on to it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Take your time. This would be a head of body in a robot. It wouldn't be one thing. So, but once you get something, um, it feels really nice and it feels like it feels really good when the robot's like finally finished and it's finally done. Everything's done.